Hello everyone, welcome to my channel English Excel. In today's video, I am going to discuss briefly all the system solidity parameter of HPLC analysis one by one. Before starting the video, I want to tell you, if you are new to my channel, then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for latest video updates. So let's begin. What is system suitability? System suitability is defined by ICH as the checking of a system before or during analysis of unknowns to ensure system performance. System suitability is to prove that system is working perfectly before the analysis on HPLC. It is required to done before every sample analysis. These are the system suitability parameter of HPLC. Number one, percentage relative standard deviation, percentage ISD or repeatability. Number two, theoretical plate or column efficiency. Number three, telling factor. Number four, resolution. Number five, peak to value ratio. Number six, capacity factor. Number seven, signal to noise ratio. Number eight, reference standard check that is also known as similarity factor. And last one is retention time. Now the number one is percentage RSD. Percentage RSD is defined as the standard deviation expressed as the percentage of mean. In HPLC, five or six replicate injection of standard preparation are injected and the percentage RSD is calculated by following formula. Percentage RSD is equal to SD upon X1 into 100, where SD is equal to standard deviation and X1 is equal to mean. The percentage RSD should be 2 or less. Next is theoretical plate or column efficiency. Chromatographic column contains large number of separate layer called theoretical plate. And the number of theoretical plates is used to determine the performance and effectiveness of column and is calculated using this equation. N is equal to 16 into TR upon W square where TR is equal to retention time and W is equal to picked width. The theoretical plate should be not less than 2000. Next is telling factor. It is the distance from the front slope of the peak to the back slope divided by twice the distance from the center line of the peak to the front slope. The telling factor should be not more than 2. In this figure, you can easily understand how to calculate the telling factor of any peak in a chromatogram in HPLC. Next is resolution. Resolution is the ability to distinguish between the two peaks or is the quantity measure of how well two elevation peaks can be differentiated in a chromatographic separation. In this figure, you can see the different value of resolution. According to separation of peak, the resolution value become increased. Next is peak to value ratio. The peak to value ratio is indicator for the resolution of two or more unresolved peaks. It's defined by the peak height divided by the relative height of the valley in between two peaks. In this figure, you can see how to calculate the peak to value ratio between two peaks. The formula of peak to value ratio is H1 upon H2. Next is capacity factor. The capacity factor also called capacity ratio is symbolized by K. It is a measure of the retention of a peak that is independent to column geometry or mobile phase flow rate. Capacity factor is calculated by following formula. K is equal to time spent by substance in stationary phase upon time spent by substance in mobile phase is equal to T1 upon T2 is equal to 1. The capacity factor is generally not less than 2 where T1 is equal to retention time of the analyte and T2 is equal to retention time of the unwritten peak. Next is signal to noise ratio. The signal to noise ratio in a liquid chromatography separation is measured between two lines bracketing the baseline and the signal is measured from the middle of the baseline to the top of the peak. In this figure, you can see how to calculate signal to noise ratio. The formula of signal to noise ratio is equal to 2H upon H. Next is 
reference standard check it is also known as similarity factor in hplc analysis for the similarity factor two standard solution are prepared that is standard a and standard b to check accuracy of solution preparation in hplc analysis similarity factor should be 0.98 to 1.02 this is the formula to calculate the similarity factor that is average area of standard a upon average area of standard b into weight of standard b upon weight of standard a next is retention time retention time is a measure of the time taken for a solute to pass through a chromatography column it is calculated as the time from the injection to detection hope you understand the topic the system should be parameter of HPLC analysis. Thanks for watching the video.